Firefighters have gained more control over those fires burning in Rio Doso. The McBride fire now at 84% containment and the Nogal fire is at 70%. And now schools are open as of this morning. That's right. And uh, KTSM 9 News reporter Carla Draxler is live in Rio Doso. She got to talk to some of the students and teachers and how their day is progressing. Hey there, Carla. Good afternoon, Andy and Natasia. Well, the students just left and finished for the day a little bit earlier this afternoon uh, here from Ruidoso High School, from the middle school as well. I'm st standing here in front of the high school. Actually, we were inside earlier this morning, talked to some students. We talked to some teachers as well as the principal of the middle school, which is a little bit further up and was closer to that fire that came uh, flaring really, really close to them. And the principal of the middle school tells us that uh, today's classes were structured a little bit differently and not as traditionally. They were encouraging teachers to talk to their students about the experiences they've been through and put more focus on mental health and their well-being. The schools are also offering additional counseling for teachers, students and staff and resources to help those who have been displaced from their homes. And one high school student shares with us how difficult it was for her during this time, but says she felt safe during the evacuation and is happy her friends weren't hurt despite some losing their homes. So that was very devastating. And just seeing your hometown burn, it's not, it's heartbreaking. principal tells us the evacuations at the middle school were happening as the students were taking the state test and few dozen weren't really able to complete it. However, she says making up for this is currently uh, not really a priority. We also spoke to the superintendent, Dr. George Bickert, who tells us uh, since they lost this one week of classes, they will be offering a students to make up for it in the summer in June. However, it will not be mandatory. And another thing that he said uh, was that that the graduation graduations will proceed as planned. Reporting live in Ruidoso, I'm Carla Draxler. Back to you. And Carla, in all your coverage that we've seen up there over the past week in Riodoso, and it has been extensive, it just feels like the community there in Riodoso, everyone just rallying around each other. Is that kind of the sense that you've been getting over the past week? Absolutely, Andy. And today I got this great quote actually here from the high school. I was uh, I was listening to the class and a world history teacher. He asked his students, he said, well, how do you guys feel? Because you've been through so much. You've been through the pandemic. You've been through this fire now. How do you feel? And one of the students said, we almost feel invincible. And I think that this is what kind of describes all of the Ruidoso community that is currently going through these hard times. Back to you. Heartbreaking stories, but good to see the community rallying around each other. Carla Draxler live up in Rio Doso. Carla, thank you. Back here at home, one man is behind bars.